Good morning everyone, here is Pass from Dark Tower Interactive and today we are going to show you how to create a new action inside the ACF system. We are now in the new Ultimate Sample project and let's proceed into creating a new ability or a new action and integrate it into the ACF system. The ability that we are going to create is a push ability that we will use as a sample to just show the entire action system. First of all, the first thing to create is actually the, um, the blueprint of the action itself. We can do it in the editor in two ways, by right-clicking, going to the ACF tab and creating the action, or by just creating a new blueprint class that has as a parent a uh, base ACF base action. So once we've done it, we can just rename our blueprint as ACF, in this case, push and scroll BP. Now, if we open the, bl the blueprint, we will see all the points in which we can attack, attach our logic. For instance, if we go into override, we have can execute action to actually define the condition in which this action can be executed, or we can select on action started, on on action ended, that will be played at the beginning of the animation and at the end of the animation. Also, we have the clients on action started and client on action ended to attach our logic client side when the animation starts and the animation ends. From the, for the purpose of this video, we are going to create uh, our logic inside the on action started event. So let's implement it. Sometimes it's, it's useful to always call the parent when you are going to create to basically impl implement and override any of the functions of any protein that, in that inherits from ACF. And here we are going to add our logic of push. So, first of all, what we want to do is basically send in Ragdoll our enemy. To get our enemy, we uh, can right click, select our character owner. This will give us the reference of the character which is performing the action. We can then get the controller. From the controller we can just get the targeting component to see uh, which uh, enemy we are targeting. So we can do get component by class and from here we select the ACF base no, what's the name? targeting ATS base target component. Sorry. Just let's just verify if this component is valid. Uh, so is valid. Otherwise, we will just throw a message. Cool. Now, if it's valid, we are going to call get current target. And from that, if, of course, we have a valid target, we will just send it to Ragdoll. We do a get component by class. No, get component, single one. We find the ragdoll component and here we can do the go ragdoll event and we can give him an impulse uh, let's see promote it to variable and let's just create for now let's just do a random impulse uh, impulse for instance of intensity very big input like 2000 to the bone pelvis should be fine a little more let's try 10,000 okay now that we have our actions action blueprint we are going to implement it into the action system let's open for instance our character blueprint Let ACF full player BP inside the full player BP 
we can select the actions component here and inside it we will have his current action set which is the one we are going to modify right now please remember that if you are using an older version the action set may be put inside the animation system this has been moved uh, in the actions component here now but it's just the same inside the action set we just have all the list of actions that this character can perform uh, and we are just going to add the new one we can just add the new tag actions uh, for instance powers push if we don't have uh, a tag that matches uh, our needs we can just create new tags by just uh, creating the provided gameplay tag an example for instance action tags by default, they are read from this data table. You can just duplicate the data table and add in your duplicated data table as many tags as you want. And then in project settings, you can just add your data table into uh, project settings, gameplay tags that should be here. Here it is, actions. So they will appear here and you can read tags from data table like I'm doing here you can add as many data tables as you want and your tags will appear here so let's come back to our action we will just select the newly created blueprint push bp no, not push, push. here we are and we just need an animation that will be performed to push our enemy let's try to find something that fits the situation okay like spell uh, no Uh -uh. No, these are ranging four. Let's try. Well, let's try to copy it from the uh, fireball spell. Okay, this one copy. We'll use the same animation. And okay, now we have configured our uh, action. And of course, we can also configure all the properties inside the Blueprint itself. For instance, we can set here that uh, reproducing this action will uh, consume a statistic, in our case, mana, and it will consume like 10 points of mana. Of course, we will have many, many uh, options to configure the action as we need including like how the animation is reproduced if it's root motion or if it's warped uh, which montage to be played and the fx to be displayed like sounds or, or particle if the animation can be performed if the actions can be performed while the character is in air his cooldown which the ability is blocked and can't be triggered and a lot of other things so now that we have it let's just do uh, try it out a little bit okay we open again the player blueprint we are going to assign it into a, a random button for now so let's make it for instance like button uh, 7 key 7 and to trigger the action we just have to call from the actions component the trigger action function which will handle automatically replication we should give the action a priority higher priority action can interrupt the lower priority actions and let's put here the tag push here we have it now we're going to test it remember that to uh, that we have set up the ability push to work on our current target so we'll need to have a target to actually use it let's try it out find an enemy here they are okay they saw me I will target one of those and hit seven okay okay we can tune a little bit the, the impulse but that's what I was expecting so thank you for watching and see you into the next tutorial